want to show you how you can use the Reflections Owl die set, the Textured Owl Nested die set from Textures. Now this is uh, three dies in total. You've got two nesting dies and one die that does your embossing. So the embossing die here has some deboss detail on it and when you add this with your cardstock you can get a beautiful embossed image from it. So I'm going to show you this just on craft cardstock and I usually use the rubber mat, there, the black mat, just to bring out all of that detail. So the first thing I'm going to do is just tape down my die onto my cardstock. Now this is just one technique, we're going to run through a few different techniques for you. So just popping that into my die cutting machine and I'm going to die cut this without the mat for the time being. So you can see we've got an amount of texture in there already without using the rubber mat, which is beautiful if you want a really quick effect. Now I'm going to pop this back into the die and we're going to run this through again now, but with that rubber mat. Now these mats can come in different colors. Some will be black, some will be a tan color. There's lots of different ones. So I'm going to use the tape that I used in the first place just to hold this cardstock into the die again, back in place, just so it doesn't move as we're running it through the machine, because we've already indented some detail, so we want to make sure it stays in the same place. And you can see we've got an awful lot more detail coming through the reverse of the cardstock there. Let's just take this tape away. This is the back of my image but you can absolutely be using this side if you want to. Now I'm going to apply some ink to this detail before I even remove it from the die to give you one variation of what you can be doing with this die. So just getting myself a foam blender and some brown distress ink. Now I'm using a flat blender here and I'm just brushing over the raised areas. So this is just catching on those pieces that are sticking up in the design. That's all the feathers around the eyes, the ears, the eyebrows, and then the feet and the tail feathers at the bottom as well. And you can see that really does emphasize all of that detail beautifully. And you can be doing this in any color, of course. I've just chosen brown to keep it neutral. So there's one way you can be adding color and detail using the die. Now we've not even looked at the nesting dies yet, just using this one. Now on the reverse, as you can see, you've also got detail. It's more subtle. Uh, I love using craft cardstock because where the cardstock gets squashed as such, it gives you that different color or different shade look. So that's another variation. So you've got both just from the one die there. Now we can apply ink back into this die and I'm going to show you how to do that. So we've added ink to the raised areas, but I'm now going to add some ink to the debossed areas. Now I'm going to use a chalk ink for this next technique. Um, I prefer chalk ink because it doesn't pull on the surface of the metal at all like a distress ink would. I'm just going to brush this over the actual die over those raised areas, much as we did on the cardstock with the distress ink, but this time going direct to the die. You may get a little bit into the background of the die, but it won't be enough to show. Now this technique is more like a letterpress technique. So we're actually adding ink into the debossed areas of the die cut. So we can cut this and add the detail at the same time. Now, don't forget to pick up your die from the outer edge so that you don't put your fingers onto the inked areas. The first thing we're going to do, just without the rubber mat, is just cut that image out. So we're cutting the outer die edge there. So keeping hold of the die, I'm just going to remove the excess. You don't have to remove the excess, I just find it easier to work with. And I'm just going to tape down that paper again to the plate and the die to make sure nothing moves around because we've got the ink on the die and we don't want that to spread anywhere else. And we're going to run this through a second time with a rubber mat just to really emphasize all of that embossing that we can do with this textured die and also to help imprint that ink down into the cardstock. So let's now just remove the pieces of tape So now we can have a look at our letter pressed owl, just lifting it from the die. And as you can see, that purple chalk ink that I applied to the die has now transferred into the actual die cut and it's letter press, so it's debossed. So you've got the texture in there as well. So there's two different variations of what you can be doing with this owl die cut.